Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Matthew, and you are in my wonderful studio, which is also my living room. So today we will see a tool which is not very well known, but really practical. I really like it and I use it quite often. And it's called the idea. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this tool name, to be honest. Uh, is it vidir, vidir, vid? I don't know, but to me, the idea is better because it's vi, which is an editor on one side, and dir, which is editing directories and files. So when I say editing, it's more like editing uh, their representation in the file system, their name, if they exist in the file system, stuff like that. So what do I mean by that? If I do, if I type the idea and I run it without any argument, well, you will see that it displays a bunch of stuff. Now, if I look at my working directories, you will see that this stuff is basically what's in my working directories. So the three files here, file one, file two, file three, and the directory dir. You will notice that there is none of those weird named files because the idea is not recursive, which means that it will only edit whatever you have in your working directory. To know what editor to use, it will uh, look first in the environment variable editor. And to me, it's configured to NeoVim. So when I run, when I run the idea, it will choose NeoVim as editor and display uh, what's directly in my working directory. If the environment variable editor is not set, it will look at the variable visual, which is in my case also configured with NeoVim, and it will use that. So, when we are in our editor, what can we do? Well, we can rename files, for example. If I want the three files uh, be renamed with MD at the end, because I don't know it's an extension, I can do that. If I save, and if I look at my file system, you will see that nothing is modified. My files don't have the extension MD. I need to save and quit. If I do that, this time, magically, my files are renamed. Now, if I look at the content of my files, you will see that the name of each file um, is as well the content of each file. So file1.md as file1 as content, file2.md as file2 as content, and so on and so forth. So with the idea we can, uh, well, rename in bulk a bunch of files or directory, which is already super practical. What we can do as well is deleting um, files if you delete them in your editor. So here I deleted file three. And you can see at the beginning of each line, there is a number. And since we can rename files, the idea needs to know what file is what, um, so it will give to each file and directory a number, which is like a unique ID. So for example, uh, the hidden directory.git as the ID one, uh, the directory dir as the ID two, and so on and so forth. Which means that if I swap here two IDs, file one, it's like, I'm renaming file one to file two, and I'm renaming file two to file one. And if I save all of that again, and I look at my tree, uh, you can see first that indeed file three doesn't exist anymore, it has been deleted. And then if I cat file one.md, you can see that it has a content file two, which means that what I said worked. I just swapped two files, basically. That's great, but uh, it has some limit. Because 
if I do vid here and then I delete the directory and I save and quit, there is an error message. Fail to remove dear directory not empty. And if we look at again our file system, indeed there is a bunch of files which are weirdly named um, in the directory dear. As I said, the idea is not recursive, so it can't delete recursively stuff. What we can do though is piping uh, whatever we want, or at least the files we want and directories we want to uh, the idea. For example, I can use find and I can um, pipe that to the idea with a hyphen, which means that the idea takes stuff as input. And if I do that, this time I have everything, including this git stuff I don't really want. So I will modify my find uh, command and you can uh, find out <laughs> what a what a word play. You can find out about find um, in one uh, in a, a series of video I, I did, and I'm pretty sure it will be displayed uh, on the corner of this video thanks to YouTube. So if I do that, oops, and if I do that. Normally we won't have this git stuff anymore. Here you go. So here I can modify everything. And if I want to delete the whole directory, I can just do that. And it will delete everything. But I don't want to delete it. What I would like is very quickly fix all of this stuff and uh, yeah. Here we go, I don't need that. And then I can um, substitute every space with an underscore and it will work because between the ID and the uh, file or directory name or path um, there is a tab it's not spaces between them so it's pretty cool if you want to uh, to substitute uh, spaces with whatever you want uh, I have quite a lot of files with spaces because I was using Windows before a long time ago and um, yeah so it's super practical for that another thing which is interesting is you can as well I mean if I create a new directory like test and then I want to put file one into the test directory I can do that and then I uh, save and quit and if we look at our tree, my file one is indeed in the new test directory and all my files were renamed um, with better names. So that's really nice. I really like this tool. I use it very often. Um, if you have a, if you want to install it, you need to install the package more utils. So if you have, for example, I use Pacman as my package manager. So if I want to install it, I can do that. And then I enter my password, which is secret. And I won't tell you ever. And um, here we go. I can install more utils and more utils. Um, it's a package of multiple tools like core, core utils. Core utils is uh, super super known in the Linux world because it's where you will find you know RM LS all those tools uh, we use all the time and um, more utils or more tools uh, which are very general too and in more utils there is of course the idea so that's basically it uh, thanks for watching and I wish you a great rest of your day.